Now, Heartland Sports with Todd Richards. Hi again, everyone. A wild and crazy atmosphere is on the menu for Saturday at Hauk Field. It's the war for the wheel game between rivals SIU and SEMO. Let's start off our previews with a look at the Red Hawks. It's the war for the wheel game week, and the sound bites say it all. I think every year that I've been here, it's always been like a nail biter and, you know, just a lot of excitement. Anticipation. We really got a new defensive coordinator, so new defensive scheme. So it's it's kind of a fun preparation week because you have to prepare for something you haven't seen before. And while lead up to kickoff is exciting, the intensity on the field is almost beyond description. Like when it's a, a tense game like this, it's going to be like a dog fight. So uh, just come out here, just play physical every, every down. Yeah, it's super intense. They play fast. It was it was loud last year. I think they had some bike night or something, so the bikes kept revving up there. So I'm ready for them to have to come to our home field. You know, I saw the stadium. Our, our fans are going to get after them. One thing is certain. There will be a winner and loser Saturday night at Hout Field, and the Red Hawks don't want the wheel leaving Cape Girardeau. Like Coach Duke said, you could be a good team. You could be a good team, but you can't be a great team if you don't beat your rivals. It's been an important rivalry. Uh, in April, we watched the previous year's SIU game. We don't wait till September to work on SIU. We're working on SIU in April, May, June, July, and August. And you know, I make no bones about it. You know, this is a win. You a game you got to win. Now, for the SIU perspective, here's Jess Todd in Carbondale. It was lemonade shakers after practice for SIU football today because a handful of Saluki players left a lasting impression two weeks ago at the Ducoin State Fair while volunteering for the Ducky Derby, a fundraiser for the Special Olympics. But it's about the only downtime the Salukis have because the war for the wheel is coming on Saturday. I mean, it's just a different feeling. There's really no way to describe it. You just... You just feel it a little more differently when you go to bed at night, when you wake up, when you're studying film. A little more intense, a little more physical. Um, it's almost like playing with your little brother. You know what they're going to do. And, uh, you know, we know what they're going to do. They know what we're going to do, and it's just going to be a hard game. Rivalry game. And you, you know, we, we lost last year, and, and we got to get the wheel back. It's a season on its own, and we just ready. And especially with the way last year's game ended, pass interference in this corner of the end zone that gave SEMO a fresh set of downs and a chance to score that go-ahead touchdown, this week has a little extra juice for the Salukis. Yeah, I would say so for sure because games like that, you don't forget games like that. We kind of felt like we let them slip with that one. We're just very excited to get out there and play these guys. Obviously, it's um, a lot goes into it. You know, uh, they're around the corner, 45 minutes away. Uh, so it's just a big play for the will, playing for something. Two great teams playing against each other. Got to execute and uh, just make the most of it, really. We obviously always look forward to this game, and it means a lot. Uh, to both programs, but that doesn't change, you know, the, my message to the team, that, that doesn't change how we prepare. This week, that requires... Physicality. you got to bring the physicality. Everybody's just a little more intense when they walk on the field. I would say just this week, I mean, it means something. It's a dislike, you know, we don't like them, they don't like us, and, you know, it's just going to be a hard physical game. We're playing for something, playing for a will, so obviously we want that back over here. All right, I will promise you this much. 30, 40, 50 years from now, whether it's this game or one of the War for the Wheel games, people will be talking about the game. It's that big and that exciting to the fan base. All right, talking about highlights, Jackson hosting Northwest, and we're talking soccer. And uh, I'll tell you, a big crowd at Jackson, they do a terrific job with that program. Dylan Strothman just off the post. How in the heck did he miss it? What a great effort. Just came up, just barely missed that. Then how about the save by Braden Thompson and goal? And the Jackson coaching staff, they know what's going to happen, and it happens. Not quite here, off the post, but a little bit later, it was Blake Kane's turn. And Blake Kane puts it in the net, and Jackson would beat Northwest 3-0, the final score. How about that? And another big day for the Jackson girls golf team. First out of 10 teams, Carbondale Terrier, two-woman challenge, team of Elena Gilbert and Julia Schlitt. Uh, by the way, they would finish first with a score of 67.